What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and I'm here in Cypress Park in front of the first King Taco, the brainchild of Raul Martinez, who opened this spot, the first of 22 in 1974, when he may very well have been Los Angeles' first taquero. Let's get into the history of King Taco and Raul Martinez. In 1969, with 12 pesos in their pocket and a goal to reach the United States, Raul and Lupe Martinez traveled from Mexico City to Tijuana. Once they arrived in Tijuana, the attendant told them they were short on change for the next bus. Hesitant about returning to Mexico City, they were unclear about their next steps. However, a bystander overheard the conversation, approached them with tickets, and the journey resumed. They ended up moving to Los Angeles, and once Raul settled in, he missed his days playing soccer. In Mexico City, he was a member of the Liga de Football Via Madero, so he would go over to MacArthur Park to watch the locals play. With no street vendors, he would grill carne asada and pack tacos to go, as was a custom in Mexico City at the time. When the games were done, the players began to line up to ask if they could purchase tacos. Raul was inspired by the number of people who would remind him how difficult it was to find authentic Mexico City-style food in Los Angeles. Soon after, a seminal moment occurred. He purchased an ice cream truck that the family converted into a, quote, restaurant on wheels. On one summer night in 1974, Raul, along with his father and his wife, parked outside of East Los Angeles and sold $70 worth of tacos. The next night, they doubled their sales. The first taco truck was a success, and six months later, he purchased a small space located in Cypress Park. In 1978, they opened their second location on Ford and 3rd. The original was still used predominantly as a central kitchen to help launch the second location. This is why many people often confuse the second location with their original. At the time, the operation was primarily to go. Customers would get their orders and enjoy their tacos on the hood of their cars, a common custom back in the day captured by this awesome painting by Ricardo Barragan. King Taco helped usher in the popularity of the soft, sensuous taco, as opposed to the crunchy fried things that everybody was eating at the time. They also may have single-handedly spearheaded Los Angeles' love of tacos al pastor, thinly sliced pork dripping with pineapple juice and tinged with chili. King Taco's popularity exploded, and they opened a new location every other year. By 1995, they were grossing over $21 million per year. With a love of auto racing, Raul branched out and stationed his truck outside of the Long Beach Grand Prix in 1994, a tradition that still continues to this day. Unfortunately, Raul passed away in 2013 at age 71. King Taco now has 22 locations throughout the Southland. And the legacy started with this one taco truck, which according to esteemed food writer Gustavo Eriano, was the first in the United States. So Jonathan Gold said that King Taco is the modern day template of what a Los Angeles taqueria should be. In 48 years after Raul Martinez turned his humble taco truck beginnings into an L.A. landmark, looks like he's right. All right, L.A., it's been a minute.